We're back with another one that was Robert Rodriguez, director of one of the episodes of this season's, last season's Mandalorian. One of my favorite episodes, actually, The Tragedy. Yeah. And uh, he's on set in between takes, jamming <laughs> with Grogu. So adorable. When so I saw adorable. this, I was like, oh my God, I can see this all day long. <laughs> you gotta love Robert Rodriguez. He's like in the middle of shooting something epic. And, you know, most directors would just forget about, like, hobbies that they have. But no, Robert Rodriguez brings his guitar to set. He brings his guitar and he's like, you know what? I'm going to jam with little baby, baby Grogu. So let's check this out again. Let's, yeah, let's, jam, is... let's jam with them. I, I got to see this one more time. Look at Grogu. Look at Grogu. Look at the ears. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it. I can sit there all day. Can I can sit there all day. Again and again and again. <laughs> we, I mean, that has to be included in the show somehow. You know what I'm saying? Where like little girl who's jamming. Have they shown anything like that in the show? Where he's like, Grogu's like listening to some kind of music or no. anything? I can't um, recall. I can't. I can't remember him jamming to anything in season no, one or two. No, this no, is the first no. time I see it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just and like the way he's done. You know, it's like what is he a puppet or animatronics? Or I'm not even sure how they it's did it. It's incredible. But it's so cute. It's so realistic. You know, I've been wanting to buy a little Grogu. Uh, it's all over. Like I want, I want one buy so one. bad. I, I, you know, I don't even want to call it a toy because it's not a toy. It's, it's something a baby. else. It's a baby. Okay? I want to buy like a little plush toy, but they don't look the same. They don't look as cute. Yeah, you know, don't. like when I see it in the stores or when I see it on Amazon, I, I want to buy one, but they don't look that cute. You know, uh, you know what? It's just not as realistic as, as Grogu no. and on, the, on the show, you know? No. It's, it's like, it's like, for us, I feel like it's a human being. A form of, you know, like what, a baby. you know, a baby, weird baby, you know, yes. it's just, it's the cutest. I mean, this it's video is just like, I can't believe it that he just like started jamming and playing yeah. and, and, you know, whatever uh -huh. this creature that they made is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just jamming with it. It's and so it looks adorable. so realistic, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder how they did it. Like, I think it's, uh, it's robotics. Yeah. I think it's remote control. I don't see so, any right? wires. It's no. probably like wires in the back, but it's so well done. And you see the guy in the back as well. He's like just chilling there. Like, just chilling. Like looking. And you see the dark trooper in the back. The dark trooper in the back. Yeah. You know, it's so cool. Like, it's so cool to behind see. Behind the scenes. Yeah, you to know? just take that look of how things are done. You know what I'm saying? The blue screen in the back, they're using the blue screen. And some people thought the Dark Trooper was all CG. I thought it was all CG. I remember you asked me at one point. I was like, oh no, that's all CG. But no, the guy's actually wearing a suit. Yeah. That's and it crazy. makes sense because in the show, they look so realistic. Mm -hmm. Especially that last episode. The last yeah. episode, they look so realistic. That one scene where the Dark Trooper catches Mando and is punching him in the helmet. I was like, oh my God, how is Mando going to survive this yeah, one? Yeah, that, you know that was intense. That was intense. I love that episode. I also love this episode. Uh, it was very tragic. And this is the episode that Robert Rodriguez directed. And I think he did a great job. This is when they take him, right? That's when they take him. Yeah. And originally, Robert Rodriguez was not supposed to direct that episode. Right. It was somebody It was somebody else. It was supposed to be another director, and uh, something happened, a uh, conflict of schedule or something like that, and mm -hmm. he had to pull out. And John Favreau was like, you know, Robert Rodriguez, can you help us can out? Can you help us out? Can, can you, you get this one done? <laughs> and I got to say, Robert Rodriguez... Knocked it out of the park. Yeah, that was really. I, I think that was one of my favorite also episodes of Mandalorian. It oh was, yeah, this it season was really good. Like everything about it was incredible. It had people going nuts. Yeah, you know there were so many things about that episode that were just amazing. Just seeing Grogu sitting on that rock. That's the rock that he was sitting in. Mm -hmm. You know where like that force field comes up and he's like, you know, connecting with the force. Mm -hmm. We had never seen Grogu display that amount of power. Power. Exactly. That power, like we knew he's powerful, we knew he's gifted, mm -hmm. but that just showed that he's other level. 
Yeah. He's a, he's and now we know that's the level that he was that he contact with Luke. Luke. You know, like that's the Jedi. He, he was able to he's, do connection oh at that God. moment. You know, I, just just saying that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Just saying that right now. I got chills. I know. Yeah. You like getting tear up here. Yeah. Like. I got chills that we got to see Luke at the you know the last episode of of Mandalorian this season. So so yeah, that you know Boba Fett came back badass. With the armor. Uh-huh. You know? Uh, man, Mando's uh, ship got blown up. Oh, that was crazy. I, that, that was, was just, insane. Like, I, that broke my heart. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. That I, just happened. I, I, like, I couldn't believe it. Just that blew just, it. I was like, did that just happen? Yeah. I was like, did the Razor but Crest just get it. blown up? He's going to get, like, the sickest, like, I'm sure he's going to get, like, the sickest ship in the next season. He's going like, to get something. He's gonna get something huge. Gonna, well, he—I mean, remember he—they the, left off him in that ship, uh, Moff Gideon's ship. Mm. So he can pretty much get whatever he wants from there. True. You know what I'm saying? He's in that huge ship. He could just steal. I'm sure that ship is is loaded with Tie Fighters and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. He could just get something from there, and I'm sure there's some really cool stuff. Well, remember, I mean, now he's like Wait the king of the Mandalorians. So. I just thought of something. What? What if he takes Moff Gideon's ship? Moff Gideon's personal, personal ship. Personal ship. Because I'm sure Moff Gideon has a badass ship. Yeah. I'm sure he has like top of the line stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you know, this is the thing about like, we know that Moff Gideon is not dead. Like, we know that. He's not dead. Right? He is, something is going to come back from him like yeah. something's gonna happen they kept him alive they kept him alive for a reason but yeah i mean he could go for anything that he wants right, right from that ship or he can just travel together with like all the other mandalorians yeah i feel like at this point mandalorian's like like super powered mm -hmm. you know he has the the armor suit that he's been building up from season one and two you know that's pretty much indestructible he has the 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 the, the I forgot, steel, whatever. The basket. I forgot the right. name of that metal. Right, which is like crazy. Impervious. And then now he has the the um, the dark saber. The dark saber. Which... So who's gonna mess with Mando? Who's gonna? He's gonna go back to Mandalore and take over. <laughs> he's gonna go back to Mandalore and be like, "That's it, Mandalore's back for the Mandalorians." But I will be upset because I feel like he's so good and he's right. so like always want to do the right thing. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like he's gonna give the dart um, saber to the uh, to the girl. What is it, her name? Uh, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. And yeah. He kind of reminds me of Jon Snow. Yeah, I he don't has, want it. He has the Jon Snow thing it. going on, <laughs> where it's like Jon Snow is the true heir to the king, and Jon Snow's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want this stress. <laughs> I, you know, Mando's just gonna be like, I just want to be a bounty hunter. <laughs> And go just, chill with Grogu. Exactly. He just wanna do what, uh, yeah. what, what uh, you know what what was happening right there. Yeah. Just chill, you know. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna go chill with Luke. Just watch and observe Grogu getting trained. <laughs> you know, he's like, I could always use a a Jedi by my side. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I, I mean, I think about it. That. His main focus that. on this whole season two. Mm -hmm. Well, season one as well, but Mostly season two, it was all about getting Grogu to Grogu to mm -hmm. you know to his kind. Exactly. So and he did it. Mission I accomplished. Yeah, I wonder what is gonna be the next you know motivation for him. Yeah, but you, you know, know just that scene in the last episode where he takes off his helmet and you know Grogu touches his face and that's like the first time anybody's touched his face and he since he was a baby, so it was like. The child touching his face since he was a child. It was powerful. <laughs> it was powerful. Anyway, getting back to Robert Rodriguez. Amazing job. He's also going to be producing the Boba Fett, uh, Book of Boba Fett. Oh, wow. Right? So he's going to be more involved in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, he does an incredible job. Which is amazing. And then there's also talks because he directed Alita Battle Angel. So uh, remember Alita Battle oh, yeah, Angel? Really we good. love that movie, yeah, and I've been waiting movie. to hear news about a sequel, sequel because it was it was so well done. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some speculation that it might be coming to Disney Plus. He might be making a sequel to that too. So he's a busy man. I'm a big fan of his. I read his book when I was in college, and uh, you know Rebel Without a Crew. And because of his book, I made a couple of short films. One of them you can see on my channel called Rewind. And he made his short films without any help, just pretty much himself. 
uh, and he put himself through uh, scientific experiments just so he could pay for his films. So he would have these tests done. Oh my god! On his body, that and they would crazy. they would give him money to get these tests done on his body, and that's how he saved up like seven thousand dollars to do wow. uh, his film that El Mariachi. And look at that! You know all the effort and stuff that he that he did. It paid, so it paid off because mm -hmm. now he's working in Star Wars. I wonder if he got any side effects from Who knows? all this stuff. Well, I, I wonder if it could be his crazy imagination. <laughs> he's got a crazy imagination if you've seen his films. So much Hi. respect to Robert Rodriguez. Can't wait to see more of his work. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe. It helps Are out. Are you jamming with us? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that all day. Peace. <laughs> Bye, guys.